What are you going to say to the families of the soldiers that will die in Afghanistan in the next three or four years just because they're dying to save NATO's face? How will you justify maintaining this occupation to them? How come your big society is big enough to bomb Libya, big enough to occupy Afghanistan, but too small to keep open a care centre, too small to keep open the local library? One, two, three, anti-war protest uh, designed to sort of wake people up to the reality of what actually goes on in the world with regards to war. It is important for us as part of Anonymous to show up today to be with like-minded people. I mean we're only an idea, an idea of freedom and true speech and justice for everyone. We are Anonymous and we will not be silent. I'm here today as part of the Save Shakarama campaign. Ten years after the attack on Afghanistan, uh, Shakarama remains in Guantanamo. There is no evidence that they would have for taking him. The system doesn't work. As a political painter, I try to make a little contribution. As Sarkozy, he is one of the new crusaders, new Napoleon. He tried to be new Napoleon, new imperialist. Another one is Obama. He inherited the war. He tried to come out, and he don't know how. I try to defend, and I try to make people laugh first, smile, then think. And my final message after 10 years is to the people of Iraq, the people of Afghanistan and the people of Libya. We are the people that speak for this country. We stood with you 10 years ago. We stand with you today and we will stand with you till your countries are free and British imperialism is defeated in Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya and all over the world. We know a lot of this probably isn't actually going to be televised, so that's why we're trying to get our message across, showing that we support organisations that are, you know, putting towards peace for people.